February has been very slow for me. This year's February is a special month for people who were born on the 29th as it's the leap year. Belated happy birthday to everyone. At the same time, February has been a busy month for me. I had a speed transition from all the travel I had last year to January in Vancouver to going back to the place I have as a worker of two jobs to having the moving from one place to another to taking everything in YouTube seriously and to all the travel planning I have this year especially this coming March as we are traveling to Quebec province. I don't know how I handled those things but I sure did. Today is family day. Welcome to another episode of Life in Canada series and welcome to presenting I had a short hair. Anyway, so today is holiday. Most of the stores are closed today. I'm actually planning to shop at Costco, but I just realized last night that it was closed. Probably the only open is the shopper's drug mart. So I'm gonna get some vitamins for my mom and dad there because I will be I will be sending them a big box, which what we call Balik Bayan box. I'm just so excited because this is actually my first time doing it. The last time I did it was with my mom. This time it's gonna be the first time that just me and Arlen. So it's just to both of us. We're gonna go crazy about this. But yeah, I'm enjoying my morning coffee. I started, I, 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 I tried to like make my own iced coffee again. Before, I know if you've seen my previous Life in Canada series, I am always making my own iced coffee. So it stopped because I think I got the time we got our car because I have to give Arlen a ride and we stopped by Team Hortons all the time. So I was thinking, ah, kind of lazy to make my own, my own iced coffee. So I stopped doing it. I bought some Team Hortons, but now I saw the Bayless cream. That was, that's the time that I was addicted with the Bayless syrup at Team Hortons. And then I saw Bayless cream at shoppers i think that was shoppers or lansdowne place the other day and so i bought it and here it is we're back to our iced coffee series
I'm going to pick up our one. It's already 7.54 and he finishes work at 8 p.m. And um, yeah, just a two minute away drive actually. It's just uphill and outfit looks like this one. Looks like I'm at home, but let's go pick Arlen up. Outside of Arlen's workplace. There he is. Then I'm going to go
neighborhood. So today is February 24. Here is, it's not a box actually, it's just, you know, the usual Shein packages. So I have ordered, I think, nine or ten items, and this is just, this is a mini haul if I'm going to like specifically, like, you know what I mean? So now they actually put some, like this one. We got 15% off. I've been shopping Shein since 2020, 2021. I just started buying Shein when it was here because I usually in the Philippines, I usually buy Zafol. I don't know if it's still very famous right now, but I bought some items from Zafol back in time and they were so, so nice. And um, yeah. And I also, oh, I got this one. We shall see if this will fit me, but we're actually planning to go on a spa with my friend Kirill in Whitby. So she's coming from Texas and you're gonna see her once we, she arrives. Oh my gosh, I think this is so big for me. I don't know, it's a swimsuit, it's lovely. We shall see if it fits. We're gonna fit that later. And then I got this one. So this is for our air fryer. As you've seen in the previous episode, we just bought an air fryer and it's our first air fryer here. And ever, first time ever. So this I'm going to use every time I cook something in the air fryer. I also got some one home stuff. I don't know where it is. It's here. I got two of this. I got two of this. So this is a toothbrush, I mean toothpaste, squeezer. So I got one for me and one for Arlen because we both have different toothpaste. As you've just seen in my previous Life in Canada series, I got into an allergy of a toothpaste and it was one of the worst things that really happened to me ever. So I'm very cautious with what toothpaste I'm going to use in my day-to-day -day basis. And then another one is, we got this one. I don't know what this is. 
but we shall see. So I got this one. Oh, like this one. I got this clip, which is a gold one. I'm so addicted with gold accents lately. We shall see. It's so big. I think this is perfect for when my hair was very long, like longer. And then I got this one. This is the top and the bottom. I was really planning to get myself back on track on, you know, fitness. So I got this one with the partner of the sports bra. One more. It's the same as the other one. It's the same as this one. So these both are the same but in different color and the same size of course. Lastly, I've got this one special package from Shein that I've been looking forward to. Oh my gosh, I think this is one of the most beautiful Shein products that I, I got from them. It is this one. Oh gosh, this is the Instagram, Instagrammable like sweater that most of the Instagrammable persons or personalities in Instagram that I've been wearing and I'm so excited to wear this. This is a sweater. And then you have like this one. Oh my gosh. This is just so nice. And that is it for the Sheen haul. We're gonna get Double, double large. <laughs> what a weirdo. And we're going to Canadian Tire. Can we eat there? It's not closing until 6, right? I think so. I cannot believe it. Like I'm just off work. It was so sunny this morning. It was very, very good weather. And now here we are. It's raining. I was going to try to get the water. Yeah? No? Cocoa butter? I've always been a patient person ever since and I think I got it from my dad who's always patient with everything. There was a time when life gave me so many delays in my prayers to come here in the country but then there's always a purpose in every delay in life. I was delayed maybe because that was during the pandemic and maybe he wants me to stay where I am to cherish my time with my lovely parents or maybe because at that time I couldn't bear the loneliness in a new country, which is I think impossible but we never know. Nevertheless, 
That delay in life has given me so many great opportunities in my career and personal life, and I couldn't even count all those blessings right now. I'm just so grateful for those things. I may not be at the point where people would consider that I am successful, but for me, I think I really am. I am at the point where I could independently sustain myself, give my parents back the things that they have given me all these years, and slowly start to live my life to the fullest like traveling, designing my so-called home, donating stuff. I must say I am on the borderline of being successful. I'm never going to say that I won't receive challenges in life, but in this phase, I would say I know how to handle those upcoming challenges in life and I know how to balance everything that life throws at me.